Welcome back. You're watching Newslink. Now, the University of Limpopo is gearing up to start working on its local tuberculosis research while also accelerating capacity development in the institution. Now, that follows from a grant from the Science and Innovation Department as well as the South African Medical Research Council. The grant will support a project titled TB Drug Discovery Hit to Lead Optimization, which aims to contribute to finding solutions to the TB epidemic. Let's discuss this further with with uh, Professor Winston Ngumalo from the University of Limpopo. Thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, this morning, Prof. No doubt a very exciting time for the university and the potential to create a sustainable solution to tuberculosis, which has really uh, had some dire consequences in many parts of the country. Yes, indeed. Exciting news, uh, uh, Rafina. Good morning and good morning to the viewers. Uh, we're very excited about uh, the faith uh, that the SAMRC has put into our institution and the support that they're giving us and also the partnership with uh, UCT, who are a leading uh, institution in TB research uh, in the country and also recognized globally. So it also gives us an opportunity to tap into the space and also train our students locally to also contribute uh, into finding solutions for this pandemic that is seriously affecting South Africa and also uh, the African continent and globally. Mm -hmm. What time frames have you given yourself and all of the team members that you've just mentioned in terms of starting to see uh, some conclusive information coming out of the research and a sense of direction as to um, how and where these sustainable solutions for tuberculosis will be found? Uh, well, the, the grant currently is for three years, so we hope at the end of this three-year cycle we'll have uh, at least some promising uh, compounds that can be progressed further and hopefully uh, ready for clinical trials. So research is a very uh, long process, so we cannot be 100 percent sure that by the end of three years we definitely have uh, a cure or something, but hopefully we'll have something that can be progressed further. And But at the same time, we'll be also be training students. Uh, who then become uh, leaders in the country and also uh, become experts who can also tap in into other diseases. So the training will offer students, even though it's only on TB, but then they will also have expertise to tackle other diseases like cancer, like your malaria, uh, diabetes. So we're just trying to build capacity uh, and be able to attract students, retain students, uh, have PhD students who can become uh, leaders in their own right and also contribute to the state uh, space. Mm -hmm. At what point, Prof, do you think that this could be a kind of a, a long-term project that might incorporate other universities across the state? Uh, is this the kind of conversation you're looking to have or already started having? Uh, yes, so, so we, we have had collaborations with uh, UCT uh, for the past five, six years. Uh, so it's something that uh, the cash injection just allows us to do more uh, compared to what we used to do, because uh, it's, it's a very expensive uh, process to do research, uh, especially in drug discovery, because there are a lot of things that needs to be done. You have to do the chemistry, and then there's also the biological, uh, biology uh, aspect of it. So at University of Limpopo, currently we were strong in the chemistry, but then we need support in terms of the biology, because obviously before uh, you design, do something, you need to uh, test it. They have to do in vitro testing, then you have to do in vivo, where you start with mouse, and then you go to uh, monkeys, and then before you can go to humans. So UCT currently have all those uh, facilities, so it will allow us to then tap into the space and uh, do more. So uh, it's something that is ongoing. Uh, there are quite a number of uh, institutions uh, locally that are also working on this space. So the more collaborations we have, the more students we train, uh, then the better we are uh, positioned to come up with a solution. Yes, and of course, uh, just uh, to highlight the fact that technological resources are going to be absolutely crucial um, in this particular project um, in finding the best solutions to the different um, ailments that you described just a moment ago. Yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, research uh, is, is quite an expensive uh, thing. So the more resources we have, the more facilities we build, the more capacity we build, then it, it gives give us a space to, to contribute and become a global player. So we're really excited about this, and also we hope that uh, more cash injection will come. We're very grateful to the government 
for showing faith in research uh, because we know that we are living in tough conditions uh, and obviously it's not easy to prioritize funds for research for something that may take another 10 to 15 years before it comes to fruition. So we are very grateful and hope that uh, the more capacity we, we invest uh, in, in, in the country, in the in universities like ours, the University of Limbova, which uh, for a long time it used to be a teaching uh, institution, but now we're refocusing ourselves to become a research-centered uh, uh, institution. So more capacity uh, like this, uh, capacity building like this, and more resources coming into the university uh, will go a long way in uh, sustaining uh, research and also uh, training uh, students and also building capacity for drug discovery proce uh, projects. Mm. Professor Winston Malo, thank you very much for joining me this morning. He's from the University of Limpopo speaking about that grant to conduct uh, research over the next three years, important research about tuberculosis and finding sustainable solutions to that and other ailments that South Africans experience. Um, a very exciting time indeed for that university and of course those who will be collaborating.